Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm going to be doing my makeup and I'm going to be showing you my outfit. Um, yesterday I went to get my hair done by Kelly and I literally had no plans afterwards. Actually, I did have plans. I was supposed to go to MAC to um, do a back to MAC and I was supposed to go to Covent Garden just to get a few like makeup bits and I wanted to go with Dami but plans changed and we ended up going Shisha. <laughs> Hey guys, so I am with Hey guys Bay. The one and only Bay. Okay, if not other Bay can compete with me <laughs> So we're just at a shisha lounge and we're it's just back. Yeah, in North London Yeah, I got my hair slayed by Kelly. I'll have a video soon Shout out to Kelly. Girl, girl, look at this, what lace <laughs> What lace? Lace, lace wear, wear B <laughs> But I really like what I was wearing yesterday I was really feeling my hair afterwards I was like, oh my god, someone has to see me Like, somebody has to see me, it's a must <laughs> So, I just wanted to recreate that look So the The makeup and the outfit I was wearing this top, but I'll Insert a clip of the picture here. I would have probably put it on Instagram already um, to show you what I want to look like from this to this. Okay. Okay. So let's get started. I've been doing my brows so different lately. I went to a benefit event and I got given loads of goodies. So I've been using these goodies to do my brows. So this is the new uh, benefit brow pencil. It's called the Brow Contour Duo. You know those pens you had in school that had like different pens in one? It's basically like that but eyebrow pencils i think it's genius this is like a really nice um brow i think it's like a setting brow thingy um bro my period is here right now and my brain is not with it because i'm slightly in pain and then i have their 24 hour brow setter so what i do i don't actually like do my brows beforehand all i do is i basically like use this to comb them in place what is this to comb them in place because I like more of like the natural looking brow lately. I feel like the natural brow is coming back in of late. I feel like no one really does, well, at least I don't. <laughs> the big blocky concealer 2016 brow. Do you know, it's so funny I say that. I've made like a brow tutorial <laughs> doing just that like what, a few months ago? Lol. I need to moisturize my face because it's hella dry. So I'm going to use my MAC Natural Radiance and Strobe Cream. You guys should know that I love these two. So this is in peach light, so it has a slight tint to it. And the MAC Natural Radiant is in Radiant Yellow. Love this. It's actually a primer, but because it's so creamy, you can double it as a moisturizer. Okay, I'm back. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't wash the beauty blender. I just sweat it because I'm being really lazy. If you want to smooth the finish, I'll definitely recommend washing your beauty blender after each application because that's nasty. I'm just being really lazy. Don't, don't be like me, girl. I'm using my MAC uh what do you call it pro long wear waterproof foundation i just love this foundation every time i go to a different foundation I, my makeup just looks crazy so i've just come to a conclusion that this is the foundation for me okay okay so we're just gonna pat that in um if you're new i feel like i have to mention this every time i do my foundation it's gonna be one wombat in the freaking comments telling me oh my god it doesn't match my body is like my face is dark i have to balance okay look at that finish the, i really i really love this foundation it's a matte finish but because i laid down the um it's so hard to do this and talk at the same time but because i laid down the strobe cream and the primer earlier they're quite radiant so it makes my skin look radiant from within which i love my period is kind of starting to stress me out a little bit now you know when it's the first day and it's, it's not hurting yet but like you know <laughs> it's about to kick in very soon that's literally what's happening right now tomorrow is gonna be horrible so i'm trying to do as many things as i can today so i can just be lazy tomorrow um and just wallow in my defeat of period so today i'm just gonna use my la girl why did i apply it straight to my face oh my god this concealer is actually still pretty good for a cheap concealer. It does the job. She looks cute. Right, this is where I'm going to have a bit of trouble with this frontal situation because I like to blend it to my forehead. So I'm going to take this off. If my frontal is not sitting, it's because I haven't done anything to it. So please excuse that. 
I don't know how porous I'm looking. I don't know if it's just me. So, because we've got a frontal and we can't get makeup on the frontal, it's gonna ruin it, girl. So you just wanna pat <laughs> around it and then we're gonna bronze it later. <sighs> this is what happens when you need <laughs> another Laura Mercier powder. Okay. It's not like finish finish, but it just takes some pushing to get to the tap. Put that right in the inner corner and right in the crease of my nose. This is really good if you're really sweaty around your nose. I feel like lately, maybe because of summer, but I've been really sweaty around my nose. And that instantly snatches your nose. This brush is so good for contouring. So I'm gonna get my matchstick and this is an espresso. I'm not too, too like heavy with the contouring because I don't want to sound too arrogant, I'm gonna have cheekbones, but I already have like pretty prominent cheekbones. I don't need to do the most with my contouring. I'm gonna pinch my brush, I'm gonna put it on the tip of my nose because basically the shadow is gonna lift the nose and on the sides, but ever so slightly. I put it here. Oh, that was a bit, that was a bit much. Wow, Dami's calling me. Dami calls me like all the bloody time at the most inconvenient times. Hold on. Hello? Hey, are you okay? Hey, I'm filming. Uh, yeah. Don't have this brush stay at work, you know. It looks really harsh right now. But I feel like low key that's because of my frontal. But, uh, let's, let's fix it. Let's just let's just try and fix it. Because <laughs> normally I'll have more space here, so more to work with. But because I have a frontal on, I have half a forehead. <laughs> this has been my fave for a while. Oh well, for like maybe like three days <laughs> but I got given this um, at an event I don't really use it it's just been collecting dust but it's the Ico water enhancing no oh my god waterproof lash enhancing eyeliner and it's a felt tip I don't normally like using felt tips oh what's going on here there you go I don't normally like using felt tips um because I feel like they bleed but this one doesn't bleed it's really really good so I'm gonna do a quick liner Let's see if I can do it on camera, guys. Please don't, don't distract me. <laughs> don't distract me. Because I'm doing this, it's kind of hard to... Oh, I've already messed up. Okay, we'll fix it. It's fine. Okay. That's our base. really see what I'm doing because when I'm doing this I like to get like really really in my mirror <laughs> like <laughs> you know right hand at the tip okay there's a bit of a sitch situation here I'm just gonna fix it I do have a lash, a, a separate video for like an eyelash tutorial and I have another video for um, a wing liner tutorial if you're wondering how I did this, if this wasn't detailed enough for you, I have a more detailed one on my channel. They are both quite old though, just to warn you. I'm going to use my Sport FX um, Mist and Fix Recovery Spray. This spray feels so good, it's like really really tingly, it feels amazing. Okay, now I'm going to get the Sport FX mascara I use on the top and I'm just going to use it on the bottom. Just like that. Oh, that's so cute. I really like this cat eye thing. I want to go back to liner. Mm. I didn't really have much on my cheeks yesterday. I was being, I did my makeup really, really fast, so I was being lazy. I did use my NARS bronzer as a blush because it, it's, it's not a bronzer on me. It comes out like quite... A little bit golden but you don't want to use too much because it can look quite muddy so I'm just gonna place it on the apples and slightly pull it up to the highest point on my cheek and I'm gonna do the same on the other side you can't really see I don't know if you guys can see what it's doing probably can't um, but I can see it just give me like a slight glow on the apples of my cheeks I'm gonna get my Morphe M500 brush and my highlighter, which is an oldie but a goodie, 
my MAC uh, MSF powder in cheeky bronze. You guys need to get it. If you haven't got it, like, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm just gonna place that, concentrate that right on the tips of my cheek cheekbones. So right there. And then when I look forward, I want the light to hit right here on the apple. So I'm just gonna add a little bit on the apple of my cheek. And I smile while I'm doing this so I can see exactly how it's gonna sit. And I'm gonna blend that through under my eye because I don't want it to look like a ice cream line. <laughs> I'm gonna blend that through under my eye. Just like that. I'm not doing this face just to be weird. I'm doing it so I can see where I need to put the product. We glowing, we glowing. Okay, I'm gonna pinch my brush. I'm gonna take the same brush, pinch it. I'm gonna put that just on the tip of my nose. Just like this. Just so the tip of your nose can like make it pointy. Just like that. That's cute because I don't want it like a blinding highlight but I want the light to definitely catch my face and I'm just gonna put a slight bit on my forehead just slightly just slightly shock horror I use my MAC naturally transformed lipstick because I love it so I'm gonna put that on first yes it's really light but we're gonna make it work then because I'm lazy I always do this I use my Fenty matchstick as a liner Now I'm going to use my L'Oreal Havana Lip Gloss. I got this in PR and I really like it. It smells so good. It smells like, it smells like sweets, cakes. It just smells, oh my god, it smells so delicious. Okay, so that's it. So I'm going to set my face. I'm going to use my uh, Urban Decay Setting Spray on my brow. Okay, just let that sit in. I'm gonna do my hair off camera and I'm gonna come back when I'm looking a little bit more fleeked. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so I'm done with my hair. I literally threw in like the quickest curls. I tried to recreate the look that Kelly did on my hair yesterday. I am gonna have the video for that out soon if you wanna see how she slayed my frontal. But I don't know if you guys, if you guys are like OGs and you remember I used to love doing my hair like this, like side swoop, like big poof in the top. I really do miss this style. I feel like this is like real roppo. This is the top I wore yesterday. It's just like an off shoulder, bright yellow top and it's from Zaffle. It's actually quite small, but I wore it anyway because I really like a yellow on, on my skin. I feel like it's really cute. I believe that's it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so out of breath. I don't know why. <laughs> but I'm gonna take all this off now because this is literally just for the purposes of a YouTube. <laughs> and I'm gonna start editing this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon in another video. Bye guys.